Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and today we are taking a look at the NJ98 wireless mechanical keyboard made by Kidos. First, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Kidos for sending me this review unit to test out specifically for this video. But with that being said, I'm not being paid or sponsored for this video, so I'm going to be as open and honest in my thoughts as I can be after using this keyboard for the past week. When I first took the NJ98 out of the box, I immediately felt the heft and great build quality of this absolute unit of a keyboard. Yes, it's pretty heavy compared to most regular mechanical keyboards because it does have an aluminum body, a steel underplate, and that it is a full mechanical keyboard with a numpad attached. Another factor towards the weight of the board is from the built-in 8000 milliamp hour battery for the wireless capability, which you can use via Bluetooth 5.0, and or the 2.4 gigahertz USB connections. The board has really no flex at all, even when I try to my absolute hardest to bend it. I love the minimal design with no logos or flashy colors to try and say, hey, this is a gaming keyboard. Because way too many mechanical keyboard companies these days just try way too hard to make designs that stand out from the rest, but they honestly just end up coming across forced and pretty ugly. Thankfully, that is not the case here. The only major standouts for the NJ98's design are the aluminum volume knob, the random but honestly pretty useful dedicated calculator key, and the small but very awesome removable LCD screen right next to it. The volume knob feels pretty solid, has a very nice smooth scroll to it, and a pretty tactile click when you press it down. The LCD display can be changed to any custom image or GIF of your liking to add your own personal style to the keyboard. It also has the ability to display information such as your number lock, caps lock, and your remaining battery life, which is really convenient. Or at least it would be if the included software allowed you to toggle that information when you use custom images or GIFs. I was only ever able to get that extra information to pop up when I did a factory reset on the board and left the display with the default black background. Hopefully this can be fixed in a future software update, but for now it, it sadly is not an option. It is neat that you can remove it to show that this keyboard may implement modular add-ons in the future as well for some extra functionality. It's just overall really cool. On the back of the keyboard, we do have a slot to store the USB dongle, which is really nice for easy travel. We also have two legs that sadly only have one adjustment of height. I've said this in my previous keyboard reviews that I just wish mechanical keyboard companies would implement more options when it comes to height adjustment. I am pretty picky with the angle at which my typing experience feels the most comfortable so being forced to only have my keyboard lifted to one height or on a flat table surface is really a big bummer. Lastly, on the back of the board, we see a lone USB-C port for charging and or just straight up connecting if you don't want to use it wirelessly, which is the way I've been using it. Moving back to the front, the included keycaps are double shot PBT and are very clear to read and feel great to type on. However, they are sadly not shine through. So I have taken the liberty to install my own shine through PPT keycaps from my old build to give a bit more life to the RGB underneath. Speaking of the RGB, the south facing LEDs are pretty bright and with the included software, you can customize the effects to your heart's content. Nothing groundbreaking here. My only issue is that I do wish the LEDs were north facing to help shine through PPT keycaps a bit more and that the lights could be a bit brighter. Within the included software, you can also edit macros, change your multimedia key preferences, change the overall layout for Windows, Linux, or Mac, and change the typing speed from slow to fast. Even though I personally haven't noticed a big difference between the two with gaming and or typing in general, one really neat feature within the software is the ability to share and download custom artwork or images for your LCD display. Already tons of people have already uploaded their custom LCD images and GIFs, and you can vote on which ones you like the most. It's just kind of a silly but really cool community aspect centered around this keyboard that I really like to see. When it comes to the switches, you do have a few options on their website when picking out your keyboard, including Box Strawberry Ice Cream Pros, Box Blueberry Ice Cream Pros, Box Taro Ice Cream Pros, and Gatterin Milky Yellow Pro Switches. This model that I'm currently using has the Box Deep Sea Islet Silent Linear Switches because I absolutely love not having any sound as much as possible while typing. It is also a hot swappable PCB so you can mix and match any mechanical switches that you like with little effort. They have also pre-installed three layers of premium foam inserts to help fill internal gaps and reduce hollow sounds when typing. But I have to say, 
This keyboard has one of the best sounding typing experiences straight out of the box that I've ever tested on this channel. Just give this a listen. That is straight out of the box. I have added no mods of my own other than just adding different keycaps. Typing on the NJ98 feels solid, responsive, quiet, and it has wonderful travel. I honestly feel like I make less spelling errors using this keyboard than I have with any other board in the past. If I could sum up the entire typing experience into one word, it would be smooth. Gaming on the keyboard of course is just as wonderful, with the silent linear switches and the dampening foam to help make late night gaming sessions not so unbearable for my wife who's in the other room. When it comes to the wireless connectivity, truthfully I had no issues either via Bluetooth or via the USB input. Both work just fine, I think they are great wireless options. Personally, I would just rather have it wired at all times since this is sitting at my desk, but if you are somebody who is on the go a lot, this could be a really good option for you. You can also use it via Bluetooth like I stated before, so you can use it with a tablet, your smartphone, or really any portable PC, or even through like a television, for instance, if you bring it with you into a hotel or something of the sort. So the wireless functionality is a really neat feature. I wasn't able to drain the battery fully in my testing because 8,000 milliamp hours is absolutely insane for a keyboard, let alone even for like a smartphone or something. So your battery life will last a very long time on one single charge. So yeah, wireless connectivity with this device is outstanding. In the end, the only setbacks for me with the NJ98 after using it for an entire week is that I am personally just not a huge fan of full mechanical keyboards due to they just take up way too much space on my desk. The adjustable feet only have one height setting and the RGB honestly could be a little brighter and I wish that they were north facing just to have better shine through lighting. And lastly, the LCD display should be able to show all that useful information even if you do have a custom image installed on it, but that's pretty much it. In the end, the NJ98 is a wonderful mechanical keyboard for not only gaming, but for really anyone looking for a great typing experience. It also has wonderful minimalist design that not only feels great, but it sounds great to boot. So thank you guys so much for watching my video review on the NJ98 mechanical keyboard. If you would like to check it out for yourself, I'll have a link to their website in the description below. Definitely go check it out and let them know that Nick sent you. I know I haven't been uploading a whole lot recently and I do want to apologize for that. I've been just really going head first into my gaming channel. If you guys don't know anything about that, check out the link in the description. Go give it some love. I think you guys will enjoy the content there as well. But that being said, for this channel, I am going to continue uploading to it. I have some great videos on the way very soon, and I hope you guys are excited for that. So with that, make sure to leave a like, share your support as always. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. We'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.